Hello everyone. Welcome to the next session of Answers Workbench Tutorials. In this session, we will be discussing about cantilever beam which is subjected to uniformly varying load. We will see the procedure for solving this kind of a numerical on Answers. So let's get started. I'll be using 1D beam analysis. I'll be using static structural module. So double click on it. I'll rename the file as cantilever underscore UVL. I'll go to geometry, right click, new design model geometry. I'll go to XY, look at, my unit is in meter. I'll go to sketching line. I'll draw line and give it dimension. See, I assume the length as 5 meter. I'll go to concept, lines from sketches. I'll select the sketch, apply and generate. Next, I'll have to choose the cross section. So I'll go to concept, cross section. This time, let's take up a rectangular tube. This will be a hollow rectangular section. I'm not changing the dimensions. If you require, you can change it as per your need. I'll go to line body and I'll select this cross section. I want to see the section, so I'll go to view. Cross section solids, and I can see the cross section here. You can see it's a hollow rectangular tube now. Here. So this completes my geometry. Now I'll go to model and double click on it. I'll go to mesh, I'll change sizing to fine and update. So this is my beam. Now I'll go to analysis settings. This is a 2D body. I'll see the vertices. Since I'm solving for cantilever beam, my one end over here, I'll choose point will be fixed and since it is UVL on this edge I will be applying line pressure I'll change vector to component in the Z direction I'll be applying the UVL so the value will be minus 50 Next, I'll go to solution, right click, insert deformation, directional. I'll change x axis to z axis. Right click, insert force reaction. I want to see the force reaction at the fixed end. Also, I want to see the moment reaction at the fixed end. I'll go to beam tool. And generate the results. Then I'll go to solve. Now here you can see the deformation is large to the model bounding box, which means it is a little larger. But I have still obtained the solution, so I'll go ahead with this. If you see the solution being little out of the way, so you can go and change this line pressure. Like this is minus 50, I can also change this to minus 30. Many people have asked me as to how I am choosing these values. It is by trial and error. As you can see right now, this deformation is still large. So I'll go to line pressure and I'll change this to 
माइनस ट्वेंटी ओके आई जेड डिरेक्शन आई सॉल्व वंस अगेन दिस इज स्टिल लार्ज सो इट इज सेइंग दैट आई नीड टू वेरीफाई द बाउंड्री कंडीशंस आई मेक इट टू माइनस टेन एंड सॉल्व अगेन It's just that the deformation is little large for this beam, but otherwise you can actually obtain the results. So this is how you are going to solve for deformation. I can see the force reaction at this end over here. This value is in the z direction, so the value is fifty thousand newton. I can also see the moment over here. Total value is given one point two five into ten raised to eight. That is the total moment over here. And I can also solve for the stresses that are generated in the body, the maximum and minimum combined stresses on the body. So these are the values that I obtain. If you want, you can see the units in metric system meters. so i hope you have understood the procedure for solving for a cantilever beam which is subjected to ubl if you have any doubts please write to me in the comment section see you in the next session with another analysis of beam thank you